Hey, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor A. Horner and I am Solution Architect for several Microsoft technologies. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe my channel to stay up to date. Thank you very much and enjoy this video. In this video I will demonstrate how to create app registration, how to configure authentication, how to configure permissions, how to export Intune configuration by using M365 DSC, how to generate a HTML report from your configuration, As a very first step, we need to create an app registration to be able to connect to Intune by using M365 DSC. Go to Azure Portal and select App Registrations. New Registration. Enter the name of your app registration so that you can recognize it later and simply click the wizard until the end. I am going to call my app registration Intune Export. I think this is the best name for our purpose. After the app registration has been created, we are going to configure authentication. In a modern and secure environment, I recommend to use certificate-based authentication. Navigate to Certificates and Secrets, select Certificates, and upload your own PFX file. I am using a self-signed certificate. Certificate is now uploaded, and we can use our certificate thumbprint in our export script. Be aware that you need to install the certificate also on the machine, from where you are going to run DSC script. Either you will get a connectivity error, Authentication is now finished, and we can configure app permissions. Navigate to API permissions and select Add a permission. Select Microsoft Graph and enter device in the search field. We want to export configuration only, so we need only read permissions. We are starting with MS Graph permissions. This configuration is focused on a maximum errorless result. So if you cannot configure permissions in the same way as I am doing right now, you may get some error during export. Select all permissions and finalize your selection by hitting Add Permissions. After all permissions have been added, you need to grant admin consent. This step will finally enable all selected permissions for our app registration. Now we are going to assign Intune Administrator permission to our app registration. I know this is not required, but I had so many permission errors without that step, so I can really recommend it to you. Go to Azure Portal and open Microsoft Entra ID. Navigate to Roles and Administrators. Select Add Assignment and search for your app registration. In my case, it is Intune Export. Finalize assignment by clicking Add. Our app registration is now finished to use, but I want to add more. Add more permission to our app registration to make it run very smooth. Depends on your license and configured features, this permissions may be not enough. So I would like to add Graph API permission to read organization information. Add permissions to your app registration and don't forget to grant admin consent to it. After this step, our app registration is finally ready to go and we can start with configuration export. Don't forget to install certificate for authentication for the next steps. Note, application ID and certificate thumbprint of your app registration somewhere because we will need it for the next steps. Go to My GitHub repository and copy Intune DSC export script to your clipboard. You can find the link to my repository in the description of this video. Paste the script into your PowerShell environment. Replace application ID, certificate thumbprint, and tenant ID variables with your own values. Edit file path variable in line 9 with your own. The script will automatically create a folder with the service name in the file path location. Script configuration is now finished, and we can start configuration export by hitting F5. Make sure that your PowerShell environment is running with local administrator permissions. In my case, if I run the script without local admin permissions, it is taking much longer. Line 21 is responsible for configuration export itself. First 20 lines are only pre-configuration. The configuration will be saved in the service name folder in your file path location. Export contains two main files, configuration data, an M365 tenant config file. Configuration data contains all information related to tenant connectivity, like app ID, tenant ID, and certificate thumbprint. M365 tenant config file contains the whole configuration export. So if you want to change any configuration, you can simply change it there. 
Line 22 is creating a HTML report out of M365 tenant config file. So if you run this line, it will store the report in the same directory as all other files have been stored. After HTML report has been generated successful, you will receive a success message from the CMDlet. Now you can view the report in the file output location. The report has a very clear structure and is easy to read. You can also implement a custom style sheet. Thank you very much for watching this video. Visit my blog and don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel.